Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen Fatima Creativity. Here I am to share with you a beautiful piece of crystal ring. When you come across this video, please try to watch to the end. To my subscribers, I say a very big thank you. I love you all. And if you are here for the first time, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get to see each time I open you get to see each time I upload new creative videos. Thank you. So here we are going to make use of our size 2 seed bead, um, size 8 crystal beads, 0.25 fishing line, and our quarter. So we'll start by cutting our fishing line and put 5 seed beads in it. So here is our 5 seed bead. Put your she lines together to make sure that it is equal just like this and then you cross with one crystal so we are going to make use of just one crystal bead you can also make use of size 8 bicon and this particular um, uh, ring is going to look beautiful as well but here we are going to make use of crystal beads, size 8 crystal beads. So after crossing with our size 8 crystal bead, we're going to put 5 seed bead on your left hand side or any of the hand. We're going to cross with all 5 seed bead. Yes, we're crossing with all of the 5 seed beads. Just like this. So after crossing with your 5 seed bead, this is exactly how it will look. So now on my right hand, I put 1 seed bead. So I'm going to pass the fishing line into the into next 3 seed beads. Just as I am doing right now. So after that, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put one seed bead on the other side and also pass to three beads from the previous ones just like this enter two i'm going to enter one more Just like this making three so at the end of it you're gonna look like crossing so crossing with the middle bead just like this so after that you're gonna put one bead on the left hand side and on the right hand side and then put the fishy line together make it one and pass seed bead onto the fishing line just like this so we're going to put seed beads until you get to your desired length so this length is just okay for me and then I separate the fishing lines again put one seed bead on the left and on the right just like this then pass it into the middle middle from the already uh, beads that we have already made there just like this pass it on the middle there and then tie just tie it there is no need to cross with it because that's the end of it so we're gonna tie tie it to secure your work tie it up to three times just like this so this is exactly how it will look after time and then you pass your fishing line away from your tie area remember to always pass your fishing line away from your tie area to secure your work properly 
just like this so after passing my fishy line I cut out the excess and this is our beautiful ring see you next time thank you